G'day, welcome back to Royals and Co Landscaping Gardening Show. Today I'm here with Gareth from GHC. We're here to finish off the installation of our letterbox range. Um, on a previous video, we've installed the first rim. Today we're here to actually pack all the rest of the rims on top, install the letterbox, and finish off our little garden here with some pebbles. Let's get into it. All right, let's go. Yep. So we're about to glue on the um, rims. We actually recommend using the Maxi Keraflex. All you're going to do with that one is put a little bit in a bucket, add some water, make a little paste, um, paste it on top of the rim, and tack your next rims on. And you don't need too much, otherwise it's going to spill all over the, the rim. Um, if you do, make sure you just wipe it off with a bit of a sponge and clean it up because it will stain it. Putting on his right, protective gear, mask, glasses, doesn't need earmuffs for this one. I'm just going to mix a little bit in the into the drum and we've already got probably about three cups of water in that container already. So it's just going to be a dry little paste um, and just going to put it around the top of the rim. Yep, so he's just mixing this through. We do want it a little bit dry so it doesn't make a big mess when we're installing it. There. So this is a high strength um, glue, it's like a tile adhesive, um, this will really hold the product together. Try not to put too much on there because we don't want to spill out the front. And we'll grab the other rim now. Just a little bit. Give a little tap down. That's it. Repeat the process. A bit more. When we do put these rims on, we're a little bit careful that we rotate the rim so the same pattern's not sitting on top of each other. So we've already done that. Gareth will mix a little bit more on top. Again, I try to put it on the inside rim part of it. So if I put it towards the outside, it's gonna, when you put the next one on, it's gonna squish it out and end up on the face. Get the next rim. Gotta watch your fingers, Gareth. <laughs> Do that again. See how the glue spills on the inside, not on the outside faces. That's how we're trying to do it, so it doesn't make a mess. Yes, it is an old school trick. We'll get the next rim. You couldn't get any easy in this and doing a easy in this doing a letterbox. So hey, Gareth, look at this. This used to take probably a good two days, day and a half to build a letterbox out of stone, best of blocks. This is and the latest mould we used to have to cut it out. Yeah, we used to cut the stone out, but now the letterbox we'll see in a minute will just slip straight in. These come prefab, straight out of our production, so you don't have to um even cut the product out anymore, you just slide the letterbox in. Next rim. It is a two man lift, so make sure you do have someone to help you carry the rims, bend your knees, pick them up. Okay, ready for the letterbox. Okay. This is the letterbox we're going to install. It's already a little prefab one. Um, it just slides together. We are going to put a bit of glue, silicon, in between in here. We do slide it together. That is actually going to lock in inside in here, so it's going to be waterproof. So we'll bring it over here. We'll get the silicon. Change it. Okay. All right. It's going to silicon this little edge. That's it. That's the one here. Inside one. So this is going to waterproof our letterbox, um, keep our mail dry. <laughs> should be pretty waterproof without it because it's going to have a big cap on the top, so water shouldn't get through. But this is just a just to protect if it does get through. All right, so Gary's going to slide the letterbox through the front there. I'm going to put this one through the back. 
careful I don't put it on the face of it. Okay, we're just going to slide this in here, like that. And as I say, simple as that. <laughs> simple as that. That's installed. That's all. That's all it is. What do you reckon, Gareth? Yeah, no, it's a lot better with this uh, recessed. Um, already prefab with it not having to cut out the block because that was a bit time consuming doing that but, uh, and, no, eh, and this just sits, sits straight in there beautifully so, it's, so if you do need any help with your landscaping you do actually yeah jump onto our website click on the installers trade gareth is on on there to help you um otherwise we're saying give it a go yourself a little bit beyond you gareth and the other boys are on there to help you to, um to install this stuff all right we'll throw this top on it quickly yep we'll quickly add the next part of the glue for the rim. Okay, we're going to get the rim top cap now. Careful of your fingers, yep, that's what Gareth said. <laughs> it doesn't hurt standing back, having a quick little look at it. You might just have to adjust it a little bit here and there, but overall, that's pretty good. That's how you build a letterbox. Okay, on our previous video, you do have to pop in onto our paving edging one. And you'll see how we did put that rim in on the bottom. Um, pretty important to quickly have a look at that one. Um, and then jump back onto this one and watch how we've built it. We're quickly going to throw some um, pebbles in this little garden here and we're finished. Okay, Gareth. I stepped on that one and broke him a little bit, but very easy to grow another one. Clean your little roots off, clean your little branches off, pop them in, just on the surface. We'll grow new roots. I'll put another little one over here somewhere. We'll come back in about a month and we'll have a look at him turning into another little plant. A couple of other ones. Put a little bit more pebbles on here. We're nearly done. Alright, they're back to their little desert setting where they belong. Alright, we'll give them a bit of a sweep up. Castle, and it was simple as that. That's our castle letterbox range. Um, on our previous video, you did see how we put the footing in on the one before. It only took basically probably about 40 minutes to put together. It is a DIY product. Otherwise, you can jump onto our website um, and click on the installers and you get a bit of hand from the boys on there. Very easy thing to put together. It's simple as that. And, as I always say, happy gardening.